cover summative review polynomial unit, summative review problem six, seven, eight, and nine. We'll start off here with number six. Now this is a gear change because up until now you've been adding and subtracting. Number six is the first problem where we are going to be doing some multiplication. This 4x will be distributed. We're going to multiply it times all three terms inside the parentheses. Everything in here is going to get multiplied by a 4x. So we end up with 4x cubed. This is when we finally get to add those exponents. The 1 and the 2 add up to 3 because we're multiplying now. Plus 20x squared. Again, the 4 times 5 and x times x. And finally, 4x times negative 3 gives you negative 12x. Again, Distributing that through multiplication, and we do then add those exponents. You're not used to doing that when you're adding and subtracting. Now we move on to number 7. Number 7, we're going to double distribute. That means we take the 2m, and it gets multiplied by the 3m and the 5. So we multiply 2m times 3m. We get that 6m squared. Don't forget it's squared because we add those exponents. Plus 10m. Then we come back, and now we're going to distribute the 3 times both the 3m and the 5. So 3 times 3m is 9m, and 3 times 5 would give us the 15. Now, if we didn't have any like terms, we'd be done, but you'll notice that we have some like terms here. We have a 10m and a 9m. So our final answer here, if we combine like terms, is going to be 6m squared plus 19m plus 15. That's going to be our overall answer here, again, assuming we had some like terms to combine. We're going to repeat that process here again. On number 8, we're going to distribute the x times both. So x times x is x squared. x times positive 7 is giving you 7x. We come back and distribute our negative 4. Negative 4 times x and negative 4 times 7. And again, we study and we ask, hey, do we have any like terms here? You have a 7x and a minus 4x. So we end up with x squared plus 3x minus 28. That's what we get. We combine the 7x minus 4x gives us that 3x. And again, we have our final answer, that trinomial x squared plus 3x minus 28. The final problem, number 19. I recommend you think of this as three separate problems. You've got the 18x squared y cubed, and that's being divided by 6x squared y. Then you have the 24x squared y being divided by 6x squared y. And then you have the minus 12x squared y squared, and it is also being divided by 6x squared y. Now you come back, and our answer to this problem is going to essentially be simplifying each of these three fractions. So let's focus on this first one. I'll color code them. If I simplify this first one right here, 18 divided by 6 is going to give me 3, right? Because these are both divisible by 6, so I get 3 over 1. The x squareds are going to cancel completely, so I won't have any x squareds in my solution. And that 1y down there will cancel one of these y's and leave me with two of them. So I should end up with 3y squared as my first term in my answer. Then we move on to the second term here. Then we simplify. 24 divided by 6. Again, they're both divisible by 6. So I get 4 over 1, or just 4. Again, the x squareds will cancel, just like they did on the last problem, x2 in the top and x2 in the bottom. And then the e, a single y in the top and a single y in the bottom cancel. And all I'm left with was a plus 4 out of there. Then we move on to the last term. Now it starts out with a minus, so I know down here it's going to be minus. 6 and 12, obviously both divisible by 6, so I get 2 over 1. The x squareds cancel, but we just can't keep an x squared to save ourselves. They canceled in every term. And then I had the single y down here cancels and leaves me with a single y in the top. So I end up with 2y. And that's going to be our final solution. That's our dividend from dividing. And we end up with 3y squared plus 4 minus 2y. Again, those x squareds canceled out in every single term.